Hello and welcome back to round four of the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championships 2018. How are you doing, guys? Well, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, we got two rounds of Swiss left before we cut to the top eight. Yep. And uh, the Dragon Duels are just finishing up their last round before they cut to a top eight. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have round four of the All-Ages event for you here. And by the time that's done, we'll have the top eight of Dragon Duel ready for you. So yep. it's uh, been a while, but we're finally getting to see our uh, reigning champion of the All-Ages division from last yep. year, uh, Yusuke Sujimura. Yeah, and uh, he's brought Altergeist to the tournament. So when we were uh, talking about you know, the various decks that we play, I, I've been harping on Altergeist in the office for weeks now. Yeah, and I was uh, very enthused to see both of the reigning champions show up with the deck as well. Mm. Makes me a little a uh, little better in my choice. Yeah, slightly worried about that Sky Striker deck with all of the uh, spell and trap removal made in it. Yeah, <laughs> and the evenly matched. But uh, in this match, we're going to have Altergeist piloted by Sujimura versus Po Zhang of Australia who brought Trickstar Sky Striker, a deck that uh, kind of all counted out. Yeah, so I think Po, were, po must have been... Well, we actually skipped a round, so I don't know whether Poe was still undefeated in this round. I'm pretty sure he was, though. If, uh, do you remember? I do not remember offhand. He's doing well, though. And Sujimura starts off with uh, Altergeist Silquidif and four set cards. That'll give him at least one way to interact on his opponent's turn. Possibly two, depending on how many of these are uh, protocol. What you really want in this case, though, is, say, a personal spoofing. Yeah, that, that's the huge card for Altergeist. It gets you straight to multi-faker, and then you get your whole engine online. Ooh. I really like Jiang's deck, though. It is good. Yeah, when, it, when I first looked at the format, I thought that this would be what I would play, just because the Trickstar cards are traditionally so good against Sky Striker and other decks that are trying to grind out, because it gives you another card advantage engine, and you can usually fit in all the hand traps and all the other things that make Sky Striker so good. And you get the burn for all the searching. And yeah, exactly. And you, it's the best Droll Lockbird deck, right, because of Reincarnation, so that's huge. Trickstar Light Stage comes down for Poe. Let's you search for a Trickstar monster, sorry, when it is activated. It's Candina that gets the Trickstar card. It can lock things down once per turn until the end phase and then force the opponent to either. Ooh. So he activates Trickstar Light Stage. Protocol is chained and then returned to the hand with Alter Guy Silquidus. And then Psy Frame Gamma is chained from Zhang's hand. It's the first time I've seen it in the main deck so far. But that's, and it's the best kind of opportunity to use it during your own turn. Is yeah. he playing the Omega? He is. Then, yeah, we're going to see the what the Psy Frames were made to do. Uh, that's brutal. So we got Trickstar Light Stage is currently being targeted, but that was uh, negated. Side frame Gamma, if you have no monsters on the field and your opponent activates a monster effect, you can chain it, and then you special summon it and Side frame Driver. Side frame Driver comes from hand, field, or graveyard, and you negate the activation of that monster effect and destroy the monster. It's quite good. Yeah. yeah. I remember at the uh, Advent of Link Summoning introducing the extra monster zone, uh, Side frame Lord Omega was huge. It just was. because, yeah, it's an extract monster that gets rid of itself from the extra monster zone, so you can free yourself up to do more. And when it comes back, it doesn't uh, occupy that extra monster zone as well. So Altergeist Manifestation is flipped up next. Let's you revive an Altergeist. It's got some uh, tricky rule stuff for it, but uh, let's not get into that until it actually happens, if it happens. The pole looking pretty strong here, opening with that Gamma. Send it. His previous light stage with graveyard activate another one. And that goes through normally. Are they going to grab Lycoris or uh, Lily Bell off this one? We'll see which he chooses. Lycoris seems like the choice. Now, Cyframe Driver is not a small monster, it is 2,500 attack points. Mm. So it's also a nice bit of added aggression here at the start. Yeah. So you can uh, just leave it around until you've finished your battles for the turn and then turn it into Omega. The center card is locked down by Trickstar Light Stage. How much attack does Gamma have? Uh, Gamma? It's got some. It doesn't have I, a whole lot. I don't know why I, I, I had the urge to say 1,500, but I don't know why. I don't think it is. Yeah, that. I'm not certain it's that big. Might be 500. It is 1,000. 1,000. It's right in the middle. Oh yeah, we saw it earlier. <laughs> we all just didn't pay pay attention to the attack. That's 
still a lot. That's 3,500, you know, a attack. Yeah, plus the Cantina normal, normal summon there. Yeah, for essentially free. Uh, which should hit for, what, 1,000 over Silquidus? So that's 1,000, 2,000, 4,500. Uh, actually, 1,200 because of light stage. It yeah. also increases battle damage. Looks like Jang might just be trying to set up an OTK here. Yeah. He might already have Reincarnation as well, so if he's able to double Lycoris his opponent. Yeah. And then just flip Reincarnation to get rid of the rest. He's locked down both of those back rows at this point. So yeah. in this tournament, you only get one Reincarnation. But one is very often enough. It, it doesn't really matter how yeah, many yeah. you have, as long as there's at least one. In all honesty, Reincarnation, although, you know, very powerful, the, the bit that the Sky Striker deck was missing was the damage. And just having the, the light stage to clear out those back rows and Lycoris and Candina, still pretty strong. 1,000 attack Psy frame. It's over the 800 Silquidus. Actually, you know what I haven't seen any of so far? Hmm. Is Droll and Bird in any hmm. of the decks. Have you? I don't Not that I can remember, at actually. Which is interesting to me. I, I expect it to be big. I think it's solid against Goki. I think it's solid against Pure Sky Striker. It's solid against Trickstar. Yeah. I guess it's weak against Aldergeist. Yeah, Maybe that's why. It's not good at all against Aldergeist. As they search once in a way that adds to your hand. Marionetter sets cards directly from your deck. You got the double Lycris right there. And that's not, not quite how you do it. Uh, she has to be summoned to his own other than the one. Now the first one was, okay, so she's returned after the first one, so the second one can go in the same zone. 18 and 18. Yeah, the light stage buffing them up. I believe Sujimura has two cards in his hand, maybe three. Because of the Sulpidus. So we have two and 25 is 27. 2000 is 47, plus 18 and 18, 36, 47 and 36 should be 83. So barring any way to block, I think that's it. No. And that indeed is it. Wow. <laughs> that was, uh, that was swift. That's, that's pretty fast for, uh, Trick stars. They usually, you know, at least wait for your opponent to draw to burn them for the last couple hundred damage yeah. before they win. But man, that was really impressive. So I, I guess if you can do that all day, mm -hmm. then yeah. I guess it doesn't matter how many terraformings you have. I mean, he, he drew three copies draws. of the light stage, right? So he was able to just completely dismantle the yes. Altergeist back row, make sure yeah. he had nothing to deal with. And the fact that he had Gamma on the uh, Sulco disc was huge, yes. right? Yeah. Like, yeah, and, and extra 3,500 damage and stop your interaction. Yeah, yeah it's, it's rough. 3,500 is a big number. Mm -hmm. And even if the game had continued on, being able to get to Cyframe Lord Omega there as yeah. well. With double Lycoris up, so every single time they draw, it's two triggers plus the light stage trigger, right? Mm -hmm. So it's 800 yeah. damage per card. Yeah. Um, imagine that with Trickstar Reincarnation, returning it to the graveyard every turn for another special summon. Yeah, yeah exactly. Ooh, that's scary. Yeah. Omega is pretty good, yeah, especially it is. with that one reincarnation. I think that's even more important. It really is. Gamma is one of those things that I never know whether I want to main deck it or side deck it. Mm, yeah. It's just such a strange card because of the requirement to control no monsters. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, no monsters in the main monster zone is easy. Yes. You can do that anywhere, and that's part yeah. of why Sky Striker spells are so good. Yeah. No monsters at all is a little bit difficult. Yeah, it's definitely hard. I... I recently haven't been trying to play it at all. I, I prefer the other hand traps to it. Mm -hmm. It's also it has an excuse me interesting at, uh, interactions with Ray as well. Mm. Like after you end with the Sky Striker Link Monster, they get rid of Sky Striker Link Monster. You can bring back Ray, and then you can do silly things with that. But yeah. it's just kind of hard to commit to playing a hand trap that you know when you go first and you have a field you can't use anymore. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it's a little rough in that, but the the payoff is usually worthwhile if you ever get to activate any other situation. Yeah. And I, I mean just. Negating a monster effect, that's probably yeah. the best thing you can do in a format where decks are mostly monster effects. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think a big reason why it's good in this deck, too, as well as uh, Pure Sky Strikers, cards like Drone Lockburn, and Nash Blossom hit all your spells, right? You're activating mm -hmm. Light Stage, uh, Eve, yeah, Light Stage, Terraforming, Engage, all these cards. You won't have a monster maybe. when you play it, yeah. So you can just gamma them there. Mm -hmm. And I think that might be the big reason why we see it here. That's interesting. Compared to other strategies. It, it, I mean, it worked out super well that time. That was just one... Yeah one turn domination yeah and that's after you know starting with pot of desires like i actually like how uh, sujimura has built his altergeist deck here he's forgone 
pot of duality, which yep. I think is definitely the right call here. Yeah. And he's really loaded up on stuff like desires. Yeah. He's got um he's got one for one in there, which is which is kind of you were saying earlier. That's, that's risky, but it seems fitting with his personality. Yeah. That he will play those cards that are absolute home runs or strikeouts. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, can you do more with like so not having I feel like uh Alter guy specifically, your normal summon doesn't matter as much mm. as some of the other decks because you usually use it on uh, Marionetta, right? Yeah, Marionetta or Melseek. Or Melseek. Yeah, so if you one for one into the uh, the Melseek and then link it away for Link Rebo without using your normal summon, do you, you then search Marionetta yeah, instead of. And use it. Do you do that over getting Multi Faker though? Is that still better than just searching Multi Faker? I think it's uh, a little situational based on which traps you have, mm -hmm. but uh, I mean, I like it a lot. Because you've got that Melisic in the graveyard already, which makes Manifestation live right away. Oh, I could see that. I could see that making sense. And then I guess... Oh, yeah, that would be good. So then can you... So after you do that, right, you summon the Marionette, can yeah. you link those two away for a different Link Monster and then have the Manifestation bring back the Milsikis during your opponent's turn, so then tribute it for Link Kribo and then get Multifaker like that so your next trap card can mm -hmm. trigger it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that opening seems strong. I'm a fan. Good. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> I just need a minute to think through the whole thing. <laughs> it's only taken me months of mentioning it in the office, Robbie. <laughs> Finally, you're a fan. Only weeks. Weeks. Oh, only okay, weeks. weeks. Remember, we had to do Not the... Not that big uh, of a fan. Let's slow down. Oh, okay. <laughs> we had to do the Alter Guys crash course the other day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was that was the one I needed to brush up a little bit on, but it's a it's solid deck. Oh, speaking of, so personal spoofing. This is the one you liked. Yeah, because it's the craziest card ever. <laughs> what? It's it's multi-faker. It's not just multi-faker. It's activate multi-faker. What, what, yes. what does personal spoofing do? Let's so remind, spoofing remind is you. when you've... So every turn, you can shuffle an Alter Guys card into your deck mm -hmm. to get a different Alter Guys monster and put it in your hand. But because of the continuous trap rule for things with activated effects, you can flip the card and activate its effect at the same time. Mm -hmm. So when you do that and you shuffle away your Alter Geist to get Multi-Faker, when that chain resolves, last thing that happened was a trap activation. So you can just summon that Metal Seat right from your hand and start doing stuff. No, Multi-Faker. Multi yes, <laughs> yeah. Multi-Faker. Yeah. yeah. Still, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, that's, just, that's straight out. Yeah, that's just one card that you have on the field and any other Alter Geist card in your hand. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure anyone who's ever read those cards, the first thing they say is the is exact same I thing I that? said. Is well, that, that not, not that part. I, I thought you could do that part, but it was... If this was an Alter Geist card, yes. this yeah. deck would be broken. It'd, it'd be pretty good. Yeah. Thankfully, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, a few of Ghost Girls' duels would have gone a little differently if personal <laughs> spoofing what, was... If you could just marry an Alter into card. personal spoofing, mm -hmm. that's a, it's game over as far as I'm concerned. All right, we are ready for game two. Fujimura likely starting again. And I see he's got Secret Village of the Spellcasters in his hand. Seems solid in this matchup. It's it's not the best because Candina just outs it alone, right? Because you can Candina into Lily Bell, Special Summon, and then uh, Nightmare Phoenix. Yep, you could yeah. do that. That would work. But, but it stops, you know, it stops light stage from being first. Yeah, exactly. So you, you need to draw Candina. Yeah. yeah. And even then, yeah, just one point of interaction still probably beats you out. There's more terraforming and light stage than there is Candina. So. Yeah. But it, unlike uh, Pure Sky Striker, for example, like Secret Village is just an all star in that yeah. matchup. Like yeah. it's Done. almost impossible to deal with. And this is yeah. a Sky Striker variant of Trickstar, so it's got added value. He's got 21 spells total. That would be rendered unusable. Yeah, he plays a lot more. I, I really like how many uh, Sky Striker cards he has. Like, he has a little bit more than the average engine. Yeah. This feels a bit more like Sky Striker Trick Star as opposed to the other way around. Mm. Well, he, he can afford to do so, right? Because he lost so many cards in the, yeah, uh, yeah. the FNL switch. He's exactly. like six cards, yeah. essentially. Yeah. Meloseek is the first play from Sujivara. Seems good. He's going to link Kribo it away, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know that I saw any here. traps in his hand. It's a little, bar little rough. Oh, actually, it's not even... I don't, I'm not even sure if you can, right? If you want Secret Village, I oh, think Kribo might true. not even be the way to go. That's true. Yeah, his hand seems a little rough now. Man. Yeah. One trap card? Mm. Yeah, well, if it is a trap, it could just be a spell. Maybe set, right. set Potter Desires or something. Or when you just they jam definitely it, right? play, <laughs> Definitely play Potter Desires. Yeah. Could, it could be enough. Oh, no. That's Candina. That's a good one. The situation we were saying about, you know, you might have light stage and all that kind of stuff. No, it just 
straight into the Candina. Mm -hmm. Gets reincarnation. So deciding against what you said before about getting Lily Bell. Oh, yeah, well, he doesn't really need he it here because his Candina can just threaten the, uh, the spellcaster yeah, without anything else. Seek. Yeah. So I'm scared of Bakros. They're so scary. Mm, they're a lot less scary when all your cards replace themselves. Yeah, he mm. probably also already has Lycoris in hand because I don't think he would just search Reincarnation like that. Mm. Because if he has Lycoris, then he can also already sort of protect the fact that he's going to be able to attack over. Mm -hmm. The only issue is, though, that he'll, he'll have a monster occupying the, the main zones so that he can't play Sky Striker cards if he has one. But not the worst thing. Because he still should be ahead a little bit. So Jimmer thinking long and hard how he wants to deal with this attack. And it looks like for a second that looked like manifestation. It's gotta be protocol though, or he can't use it. Yeah. That's what I'd assume, but Or it's boofing. But it looks like a uh, looks like a super rare. I actually think he's opted to play with uh, TCG cards. Some of them are, yeah. I, I, I like mixing sometimes because you get the best of both worlds, right? You can get like your ultra Japanese suplexes with your other cool foil go cards. Oh, here we go. It's personal spoofing. There we go. That's the good stuff right there. Oh, yeah. Multivigor is going to be huge. And the great thing with this is that you know, he can just hold off a little bit. He doesn't have to immediately use his effect. And he's protected from uh, Gamma as well, since mm -hmm. Candina's on the field. Mm, that's interesting. He took a look at uh, Conquery there for a second, but that only negates the attack when it's played from your hand in response to the attack. It still negates the effect, though, right? When it's special summoned? Yes. Yeah. Multi Faker, anytime it's special summoned, it can special summon another Altergeist from your deck. However, you cannot summon anything but Altergeist in that entire turn. Not usually a problem, though. And that is, is Altergeist that Marionette. Marionetter. So, Marionetter has two abilities. One is when you norm summon it, you get to set an Altergeist trap from your deck to the field. And the other lets you target an Altergeist card on your field, an Altergeist monster in your graveyard. You send the first card to the graveyard and special summon the second. Mm. So it seems like he's trying to create a situation here where even though the Candina's effect is going to go through, mm -hmm. his opponent still will not be able to use spell cards, and he can't actually clear all of the threats. Like, it can't be done. He's got too many. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I'm not sure which the roughest of them is in this case. It, it may be Marionetter. And indeed it is. So Marionetter's gone, which stops the cycling of Altergeist cards, but personal spoofing is a continuous trap. So Sujimura can continue to use it every turn. Yeah. Do that same same combo as well. Yeah, the Altergeist cards are very, very good. I'd like to play though. It's one of those cases where, you know, the initial, like the first level of thinking it's is just every time I play Multifaker, I get Silquidus. Yeah. And this is beyond that. Yeah, I, it has a lot to do with Secret Village, right? You just yes. want to build a, a field there. Your opponent, guaranteed, cannot deal with all of your spellcasters, so you can still walk them out. It's not unending an nightmare. nightmare. <laughs> that's huge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Yeah, I've seen that in a couple lists. That, that one is one of my favorite cards from Maximum Crisis that never really shined in the TCG. Yeah, it had a, a little bit of time when Pendulum was a big thing, but it wasn't even that good there. It, no. it was just worse than Anti-Spell most of the time. Yeah. It was a card that Pendulum could play in the mirror against other Pendulum decks, but it, it just still didn't impact things as well. It also so wasn't the best that the Pendulum Magician deck, all of them still had effects when they were destroyed. It's, yeah, exactly what I was about to say. Yeah, yeah. As soon as they became popular, then Unending Nightmare just went straight out. So it's 1,000 life points per spell or trap you want to destroy. It's really good against personal spoofing. Yeah, I'm interested in why he chooses to activate it now against spoofing, though. Instead of in response to spoofing? Yeah, you can just keep it face up, right? Yeah. And if your opponent ever tries to do anything, you just get him. 
Now it's once per chain, so Sujimaru can just chain to the unending nightmare effect. Yeah. And he's considering whether or not to do so. I guess you might lose out to Solquidus if your opponent normal summons it. Is that the only thing you can do, right? Like if your opponent goes normal summon Solquidus and then if they activate personal spoofing and you activate unending nightmare, you can chain the Solquidus to bounce it away. Personal spoofing, not an Altergeist card. Oh yeah, but you know you bounce something else away to get rid of the unending nightmare. Oh right? yes. Right, and then force it through. I feel like that's the only time you should be preemptively doing that, but because we're in the battle phase, right? I, I don't know, but no, this is Jang uh, has a plan. Most we're, we're on Sujimura's turn. Yes, yes. Oh, during during the his battle phase, phase okay. though, right? Because I'm pretty sure he declared an attack. Or with uh, Silquidus? Uh, with Milseek, I think. Is that not Milseek in the yes, middle? Yes, mil it's yeah. Milseek. Oh, that's why. Okay, I completely understand now. Because he's going to go after the Unending Nightmare with Milseek. That's oh, why he was forced to activate okay. it. Makes a lot more sense. Yeah, seeing the uh, foil shine off the attribute makes it look green, like a wind yeah, monster exactly. instead <laughs> of a water monster. And he gets Marionetter with a personal spoofing. Yeah. Yeah. And now the attack connects. And the spoofing's in the graveyard, though, right? Yeah. Yes. He's going to need that Marinette if he wants to start. Oh, yeah, now he's just going to go cards. after something else. No he's need to. Hits. Is that called, called by, by the, by grave? the grave? So he's he's fishing for reincarnation, essentially. Yeah. Because otherwise, he's never going to get to summon the uh, Marionetter. Yeah. Yeah. I like Jengzak. Jengzak looks nice. Mm hmm. It's quite good. We also got some more surprises in there that we might get to see as the uh, match progresses. After all, there is a whole lot of room. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And Honestly. it wasn't just filled with a couple extra Sky Striker cards that you no. normally play. Yeah, definitely a little bit of extra spice. Take the rest of the attacks. Main phase two. Marionetter is normal summoned. So the uh, checking the, yeah. if the life point damage has been done. He did not activate a spell or trap, but does she also count spell or trap effects? We should take a look at the text and find out. Cards are very specific these days on whether they just go on the activation or if you also get it for the activation of the effect of something that's already face up. Mm -hmm. And it just activates a spell or trap card, so there would be no extra damage from uh, spoofing. I'm just going to get Protocol from his deck. Protocol is a very good card. And yeah. part of what makes it good is just that you can flip it whenever you want to uh, trigger multi faker. Now we got a Link Summon. Don't see this too often. Yeah, Link Summon for uh, two usually means you're in a good position. And it also means Altergeist Hextia. Starts at 1500 attack, but gains attack points equal to the attack of the Altergeist she points to. 1600 means that that's a 3100 attack monster. And Hextia can negate a Spell or Trap card's activation or the activation of the effect of a Spell or Trap card by attributing the monster she's pointing to, the Altergeist rather, that she's pointing to. This game is looking very different from the previous Altergeist game that we uh, that we experienced earlier. Yeah, now we're getting into what actually makes Altergeist good. Yeah. He now uses the effect of Marionette to swap it out for Multifaker. Multifaker doesn't care how it's special summoned, and he's only special summoned Altergeist. Yeah, Jiang's shaking his head. He knows what direction this game's going in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Altergeist actually feels a little bit similar to the Trickstar deck in that once they get the ball rolling, it's really hard to kind of stop them. Yeah. And their cards do more than the Trickstar cards do. Rather than just doing damage, it's like interaction and things like that. Yep. Yeah. It's just in this particular matchup between the two, usually when it plays out, uh, like in the United States, for example, the uh, the burn damage is often too much to recover surmount. from. Yeah. Especially with the extra access to Light Stage and multiple Lycoris and that sort of thing. Yeah. Although Candina usually does a little more burn damage here because you're not actually searching a whole lot. Mm. Like Conquery was the first. Yeah, I, I, I think he's looking to negate the effect of a face-up card. It's a 
it over there, activates the effect, and turns off Unending Nightmare. Yeah, I think Pose is really sinking in now. This match is getting away from him. Yeah, the thing with Kung Query is I see so many people just cut that card from the deck completely. Mm -hmm. and I don't get it. It has a ton of applications, not just because of its use in hand to block attacks, but the effect negation comes up a lot more often than you'd think. Yeah, once once I found out that you can, it works whenever it's special summoned, so even off mm -hmm. of your multi-figure and things like that, I, I could see why you always want one. Just having access to that card's huge. Yep. Now that's going to last for as long as some queries face up on the field. And 2400 defense is, it's actually tough for Sky Striker, like, or sorry, yeah. uh, Trickstar. Yep. One of the things that beats Trickstar a lot is big monsters. Because with all the other cards they play, they can't, you know, there's no space to win fights with Honest or anything like that. No. That's originally why they were added to, they, they added Sky Striker cards to that deck to give that a bit more flexibility in, in that side of things. But Poe's not got many cards here. And he links away Altergeist Textia and the Conquery. And that is... I can't quite see what that is. It almost looks like another Hextia, but is it... Yeah, it could be a Hextia. Kadolga? Kadolga would be interesting. I don't... Good way to steal stuff, but I don't know that there's anything it's worth doing. It's probably another Hextia. And that also lets you get the effect of the uh, first Hextia because it was sent to the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Once you add any Altergeist card from your deck to your hand. So play passes over to Pio here. After that colossal turn by Sujimura. Yeah, you really turn the corner on uh, this one. Now he flips Altergeist Manifestation face up to revive another Hextia, which he can revive pointing to his multi faker as well. What a deal. Can to choose that zone. It points to the right and down, and that also allows him to activate Altergeist multi faker. <laughs> Pose just making several faces that don't tell me that he's pleased about. What's going on right now? <laughs> Where Sujimura is really starting to power through his plays. Yeah, it looks like, uh, I think that's a Battles of Legend one. Yeah, looks ultra rare. So, Unending Nightmare being used. Yes, Unending Nightmare is now working. And I guess the question is can I just destroy that to stop it? And uh, no, you can't. It's, uh, it's special summon the targeted monster, also equip this card to it. You don't have to do both. So if you just special summon it, but the card's not around to equip it anymore, for example, because you shuffled it back with personal spoofing, or return it to your hand with Altergeist Multifaker, then you just get your monster and there's no Call of the Haunted style downside. Like Reincarnation is going to get prompted from Jiang. Chain to it to... Uh, get rid of the multi-faker. Yep. Good move. And that is then negated. Yes, negated by the effect of Hextia. So Trickstar Reincarnation goes through, and we see he's picked up one for one. And because of Hextia was sent to the graveyard, now he can search. Oftentimes it's the only extra deck card you need, and the rest can be fed to stuff like Eater of Millions or just be a big pile of cards to use with Ghost Reaper or something like that. Mm -hmm. And it looks like he's taking... Yeah, it's Marinator. So, Hextia back down to 1500 attack. Light Stage is a good card from Poe. It's a good way to get back on your feet. Except 
of Lycoris. Locks down the face down. We'll see if he chains it. I feel like Switchimura did a whole lot in the past turn or so, and then now he's not ended up with a lot of cards. Yeah, they uh, they went away in a hurry. Mainly doing to have due to having to trigger them off. Hmm. Straight up losing them to uh, Altergeist Protocols flipped, so it's now safe from light stage. Light stage, but oh yeah, no, he's got the uh, Trickstar Monster, so that Hextia can do something. Another Candina is activated, and we'll see if he. Decides to get rid of his own Hextia here. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What would you do? I I don't know that you can. I think you just put yourself in the way of another OTK if you get rid of it here. But you might just get beat. This could be a situation where you get beat no matter what you do, so you just hope to stop them from getting another Lycoris. Yeah. And it looks like uh, that's what he's doing. That's the thing. It's not if they have one like her, it's if they have two or three. Yeah. yeah. Your life wins just go down real quick. <laughs> mm hmm. Like is so strong. He still has reincarnation, though, yeah, so he can still do a ton yeah, of damage. bring it back. That's half his life right there. More even. It's 4,000 because of light stage. And in this case, we're double like would be game. I'll see if he's one. got it. He's got one. Yeah. Just slow rolling a second. <laughs> Just in case. Be harsh. I mean, it matters because of Conquery. Yeah. You don't want to throw them both on the table and have both of their attacks be blocked. So the uh, trigger condition for Conquery is your opponent has to attack while you control a face-up Altergeist card. Mm. Card, not monster. So protocol counts. But he's not got the second one. Otherwise, he would be playing at this point. Yeah, I really like how all of the alternate cards interact, but it's hard for me to discount Candina and a Lycoris that bounces his back so you can normal summon again and keep that engine going. Yep. Yeah. They certainly have star power. Yeah. Main phase two, they are used to Link Summon. Or Nightmare Phoenix. That is that Eater of Millions? Looks like it. Yeah, I think so. No, no, no. no what, sure is what is that? Is, yeah. Almost the, <laughs> the first thing I thought it was was a DDD card. Yeah? Yeah, like the one of the slimes. Oh, yeah. I'm unsure. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, is it Fam Sky Blaster? Oh, yes, uh, it is. Okay, that that's one of our uh, little surprises that we yeah. thought might be fun to see in play. Yeah, Sky Blaster is the sauce. That card plus a lot of other cards can just OTK your opponent. You can make Saryuja. That's a great card. Very mm -hmm. powerful. So, Sujimura fires back with Marionetta, setting another Altergeist Protocol. Marionetta with 1,600 attack points, still weaker than the Phoenix. But it can target itself with its own ability to send it to the graveyard. And he does so. Swaps it for Meliseek. Well, very quickly went from uh, shaking his head and screwing his face up to uh, feeling pretty good in this game. <laughs> yep. We'll see if it swings back around here because anytime you got Meliseek, you're in good condition. And uh, Sujimura kind of bucks the trend. He plays multiple Link Kribos, which I like a lot. Well, if you've got that, you know, that ability to just link away the Meliseek. Mm-hmm. And you're playing multiple Militeeks, then it makes sense to have more than more than one Linkery button. Yeah, your your deck isn't too extra deck dependent. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, the general consensus. Well, the general consensus is you only need one because you just tribute your yeah, yeah. Militeek to bring it back. Yeah, but there is some value in having two. 
You, you, it's a once per turn effect, right? On Link, you're able to trigger the your tribute, monster, bring yeah. it back, yeah. Yeah. If you got the space, then why not put the extras in? And you really do with the strategy. No, and with one of Rowan. I feel like those are a lot of situations. Mm hmm. He's considering whether or not he wants to attack with it, I think. He does indeed send it to the graveyard. You're a friend of mine, Link Rebo. Hmm. I miss the Link Rebo field center card that we have. <laughs> <laughs> I liked that. You should go find it and bring it back. I only got to find somebody who uh, won one at Yu Gi Oh! Day. Probably have a couple of them here. Yeah, we, we don't have Yu-Gi-Oh! Day in, uh, in Europe. Four cards face down. He's wow. really been building up uh, building up some cards here. Yeah. Targets one to flip it face down. Or rather to keep it face down, not flip it face down, but it's flipped face up instead. Protocol. Yeah, Link Rubo is such a good guard. Yeah. Is it, you, it really this does. Deck, this is probably the best Link Rebo deck, to be honest. Mm. I, yeah, I thought I thought I would give it to Goki or Spiral, but <laughs> <laughs> oh way. Actually, yeah, no, I have to give it to Spiral. Never mind. This, yeah? this one comes close, though. Mm. This one comes close. This one does cooler things with Link Rebo than the other deck does, but the other one just puts Spiral Drone in the grave or Quick Fix rather. That's pretty good, though. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so he's flipping up. Yeah, that's manifestation. Targeting Hextia. He's gonna bring it back and see what zone he chooses. Center zone, and I believe he's got that multi faker there. So this is all this is all happening on Poe's turn. Yeah. So Altergeist it it really kind of it shows the concept of turns. It's yeah. just always playing. I think the uh, Monarchs was all like that with uh, with Ether. Yes. It, yeah. It was very much like that. There were. It's hard for me to compare it to that deck though, because of just how good Aether was. Mm. Yeah. A Aether. Aether did do what Multi Faker did, but also four more things. Yeah. I, I actually I, I I liked playing that Monarch format, but to try and keep track of like n not while playing just. To try and commentate like who the whose turn it was during that was just insane. Yeah, so Suri Mirror is up and he attacks directly with his monsters first. Before setting another card. All the back row. And passing. This this is tough for a Poe as a trick star player, getting your opponent down that much and not being able to finish them off. Yeah, that must feel bad. It would only take just like Lycoris and a reincarnation, but unfortunately he's already got his reincarnation banished. Yeah, well, Lily Bell with uh, Likers would be pretty good too. That yeah. that would actually be exact the game if you drew Lily Bell. Oh, oh, that's gonna help. Locks down one with Light Stage. Now I'm gonna try Twin Twister. The other two. That's gonna help a lot. And he does not have anything to uh, tribute off for Hextia. Let's it through. Goes through. It's Loses. gonna be one for one and a trap card. I look like personal spoofing. Yeah, it's spoofing. And that uh, that card in the middle of the face-up traps is the lockdown one. Yes. Uh, yes, yes. Oh yeah, the thing on the other end is the extra deck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's Candina. Bell isn't game because of uh, Link Rebo. Yeah. You don't have to attack it, it's just if they attack. Also seems rough through protocol. Hextia takes out Candina. Hates its effect, and Hextia lets him search for yet another Altergeist card. And there is Silquidus. 
But that was protocol though, right? Not not the Hextia? So protocol was used tributing Hextia. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. Hextia's the effect got a search. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Sorry. And at the end of the turn, Zidumar is forced to send Potter Desires to the graveyard. That very scary five back rows uh, suddenly got picked apart. It did. By Light Stage and Twin Twisters. So Silkwoodus also has a one I'm sent to the graveyard effect that lets you get a trap back. Mm -hmm. He uses two for Nightmare Phoenix, and now he can get back one of his materializations. Materializations manifestation? Yes. Materialization manifestation. Getting my synonyms all <laughs> in a bunch. <laughs> Got a little bit too large of a lexicon there. I do. Damn it, I was <laughs> trying to think of something lexicon related. <laughs> Ugh. Now that I know what it means. I actually did know the word, but I, I don't think I ever knew what it meant. Really? Yeah. And now he's chaining uh, chaining to the search effect, I believe. Chaining to something to the Cyframe Gamma. It's the effect to add back the manifestation, right? That's what he's negating with Gamma? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And yeah, now, yeah, at 2,200 life points, that was nice for him. Now he has a defender and an attacker. He's going to get over the... Oh, no, no. I forgot that Gamma is not as... <laughs> Powerful on your opponent's turn. Imperial, Imperial Order. Order with 1,400 oh, 14 life, life points. Life. Oh, we could see the first known recorded instance of dying oh, to your own but Imperial he, Order. No, he also has multi-figure, though. That's going to be rough. So he just called time on himself. Up two turns. He really, he really only gets one. Yeah. Because you pay on both standby phases. So he gets his one turn and then he loses on Jang's standby. It's the reverse light curse for game. <laughs> Did he need to shotgun it? Oh, I guess no, light stage. Light right, stage right, targeted, yeah. Oh, <laughs> another Candina's Candina. huge, but I don't. I still don't think it's enough though with it's the uh, protocols there. Yeah, between protocol and sulk with this, right? Yep, it's hard to do too much. Yeah, so puts him down to yeah. seven hundred. Bojang says he's going to concede. Yep, that, that's just actually game. Yeah, it is it's game on board. Yep. And that that's such a rough one to lose too. Yeah, yeah. especially when you got that so much close. damage. But that shows the big grind game that Altergeist has, mm -hmm. right? Even able to keep up through the uh, the Trickstar engine. Is this the game we went through triple light stage? Uh, no, that was the first that was game. That was the first game. Yeah, first yeah. game the triple light stage was overwhelming. This was uh, Secret Village of the Spellcasters. Yes, it kept Pojang off mm -hmm. his game long enough to start the Altergeist train rolling. Yeah. It was, and you know, once it gets rolling, once you get that one Hextia and you keep sending it to the graveyard over and over and over again, you just search out the rest of your deck. Yeah. And it's just really ugly if you're on the receiving end of it. Yeah, it got to that point where he had five back rows. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they're all evaporated in an instant, and it did matter because you just had even more cards yeah. to use yeah. with it. Absolutely. Well, the that's the second time we're seeing Altergeist on, like, the someone playing Altergeist on the live stream, and it's completely different to the first time. Yeah, well, Sujimura, master world champion mm -hmm. himself. Yeah, yeah, you would have given us a so, lesson on yes. what all the things you can do with Altergeist. Especially, we, we've been talking about this all day. Th this is a real deck in the OCG. This is. is the second best deck right now. Yeah. Like Thunder Dragon's coming up in third. Mm -hmm. uh, Soul Fusion strategy. Yeah. yeah. You read a little more about that on uh, Yu Gi Oh card.com. A little teasy there for the Thunder Dragon deck. And I would, it's something really to look forward to. That deck is a lot of fun to play. That's really good. Yeah, yeah. No, that deck is great. It's very well positioned against Sky Striker, too, mm -hmm. which is nice. And even more so against uh, Trickstar Sky Striker, right? Yes. Yeah. All the searching that you just can't do yep. to do uh, one of the key cards out of that deck. It's quite good. Mm -hmm. That's like amazing how good Altergeist is with, what, five monsters? Yeah, just yeah not, not much. You just play every single Altergeist card. They, they card have so many good cards. They yeah. don't need more monsters. They don't need yeah. more cards. It's it's just rounding out the rest of the deck and figuring out what cards best suit the format at that time. So, like, right now, a lot of those cards are, like, Rivalry mm -hmm. of the Warlords or, like, Anti-Spell Fragrance. Yes. Yep. We, we've seen a few different options that you can play in those slots. But traps, it, for what this deck wants to do, traps are great. Yep. And that's sort of it. And the spells you play are, I mean, they're minimal, but they're all just insanely good cards. Like, here's Pot yeah. of Desires. Here's One for One. 